Before we get started with the original recording, uh, I want to let you know you might want to increase the speed if you're on a computer so you can make it through this a little quicker. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you like design to print uh, 3D printing stuff. Look at this. You can actually do stuff in real life with your 3D printer. And if this is the only thing you print with your printer, these are $1,000 curtain hangers. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a hand. Hey, what's up, Internet? I'm going to do a quick design here. The wife said, hey, man, why haven't you done that thing that you said you're going to do? And I'm like, oh, dang, let me do that right now. Oh, gosh. So I'm just going to choose a cone, okay? I'm going to do a radius of, oh, gosh, I don't know inches, 38 millimeters. So I need an inch and a half, so it's 38 millimeters. Let me give another three quarters of an inch there. Inch and a half, inch and a half, so three. Uh, 40, 40 is 80. So let's do 80, but that's radius, so we'll do 40 on that. And then for the height, we'll do uh, about an inch and a half out. So that'd be another 40. But that only goes to the tip, and I want to shave off the tip, so I'll go 80. Now, what I'm doing is I'm making a cone, and I'm saying a bunch of numbers. And essentially, I measured, like, this is double the width I need. And this is double the height I need. Now I need to keep the width, and you'll and you'll you'll see what I mean soon. So uh, essentially, what this is is it's like a real life uh, design to uh, like use that you get to actually see. We got Game of Thrones coming on here in like thirty minutes. Wow, that was weird. So this software, I don't know if they make it anymore. I think it's well, it's one two three D design. Okay, and uh, you can see I just made a cylinder and put it on top of this guy. I don't like the way that looks. Uh, but there's other other systems out there uh, and uh, software out there. So that looks good. Like that just, the proportions of this bottom piece look good. So I'm going to take these two items and I'm going to like separate them. So there's this separation thing, like subtract. You take the first thing and you subtract the second thing, press enter, boom, gone. That's kind of weird that this guy's floating up there. Oh, gosh, that's together. So let's go ahead and... Uh, ungroup ungroup uh, okay that should do it that didn't do anything so i'll just start deleting things as i click on okay you click it stuff until it goes away now this <clears throat> it's close uh, i need to get rid of half that though but i'm gonna first do a thing where i get rid of the part in the middle what does that mean uh so there's a rod that will go in and, and hang into this thing and that's what i want to i want to take out of there Oop. But uh, so, so far, I don't know. This is, I guess, more so just you can see where my mind is. Like when I'm doing stuff like this, I'm going to snap this to that. Boom. It's, it's good there. And uh, I'm just going to take this guy. And if, uh, So it appears that they grouped it. So I'm going to ungroup. Oh, that's a button. Juice. And if you hold or you click on a thing that you want, it's not on the deck. And you press D, it goes down. Nice. So once again, I'm going to subtract. I, I uh, do the subtract thing. That's not the one. Oh, look at this. Just a bunch of clicking around. I click that and then that. Press enter. Okay. So now we got this looking pretty cool and I'm starting to lose control. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> so essentially, I just want half that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make another square. Okay. And essentially, I can just grab and go, I guess, right? So I'm going to go like half ish. Uh, about half. Uh, so, wow. And I'm starting to get sick. Scale, yeah, scale's fine. Let me make it a little bigger. Go over with it. Okay, so that looks about good. huh? And then I'm going to want to subtract again. So I'm going to keep subtracting. Take that, subtract that, equals that. All right. Looking cool. Now I got to have a couple screw holes on this thing. So I'm just going to be, I almost feel like Bob Ross. I'm going to go ahead and just make a cylinder, you know, make decisions, big decisions. Okay, let's say it's about four millimeters, so two. Uh, and then let's make that a little higher just so that we know that we're good. So this essentially is going to be the screw hole. Okay, I copied, pasted. So control C, control V there. I'm going to select those two now. And just move them. Whoop can't do that you just move them over you know like uh that would work i guess i kind of want it to look like that yeah so i'm gonna take that one move that one there this one here and then uh that doesn't look quite right so maybe go ahead and do that okay 
we're going to keep subtracting, you know, subtract your stuff. So I take the first piece, click that, and subtract those two pieces. All right. So I see something wrong with this, though. I don't know if you see it yet. I see something wrong with that. So I'm going to undo what I did. I'm going to go with a screw head. I want to, I want to like, uh, put the screw head in there. So I say four for that. It was a uh, two. So let's say four for the screw head, maybe five. Let's go five radius of five. So that's 10 for the, uh, diameter copy paste. And I'm going to drag this guy over step and then, or step snap is what I meant to say. And the same with this guy, I'm going to go ahead and snap that to that. Okay. So you can kind of see stuff going on here. And these two, I'm going to hold shift and click. I click one, hold shift, click this one, then press this ungroup button down here. Okay. So now holding shift, clicking both of those at the same time, I'm going to click this arrow and I'm going to press down again. Okay. And that's almost, that's too much. So I like that. That looks good. Okay. Mm, that's weird though. So I'm going to click that, click that, go down. If you zoom in, and like you then go down, like it gives you a little more like fidelity, if, if that's the right word. You know, that looks good. Screw it. That looks great. Let's do some subtraction. So click that guy. I want that guy out of there and that guy out of there, and that guy and that guy. Press enter. There we go. There we go. There's your uh, hopefully big enough holes for the screw. And let's give this thing some edge, like a good looking edge. So you can round off the edges by clicking this round off the edges. It's fillet, fillet don't know i don't speak french i don't know if this is written in french so you click those two but then you can down here choose the radius go like two that looks good maybe like four see what that does Ooh, so so pretty maybe we'll go with uh five. Oh, i'm gonna go with that that looks okay and then we can also do that to the top up here so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh do this fil filet filet 3d y'all Okay, and then this one too. I'm gonna just uh, give two, see what happens. Mm, not bad. How about three? Looking better. Professional. Look at that. That is nice, but we got more edges. Let's do another flare. I'm gonna click this guy right there. Look at that. That's not bad at all. Click those two lines, this one as well. Let's go with two on that. That's too much. Let's go with one. That's weird. So I'm going to just exit out of that. Uh, Control Z to undo. And let's just see what happens if I don't do that edge, edge portion. But I just do. Let's see here. This guy and this guy. All right. And then three. Okay, that's looking really weird. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> let's go two. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then, uh, that's too much, but, you know, sometimes when the artist has a gallon of paint, you gotta, gotta use the paint, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna do these edges now. Let's go with two on those, see what happens. Hmm, what do you think? Should I do that? Should I stick with that? I'd go with one, maybe? Um, mm, that's not enough. Three? That is way too much. So, 1.5. And you're good. Okay, so that looks really smooth, really clean. It's going to go on my wall. That's all we needed to do. So I'm going to save <coughs> to my computer and then do wall. Save. And I'm going to go ahead and export that to STL because that's what my Dremel Idea Builder Model 3D20 uses. And I'm going to go wall hanger thing for wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, save. And of course, uh, wow, that was weird. That felt really weird. Uh, I'm going to have that software open here. I'm going to load. I have to double click that. It's in. There it is. That looks even better now. Look at that. It looks so awesome. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to just do a build. We're going to do a quick build. A little faster. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's it's oh it's it's pending. Going full screen. Okay, and that is it. Now that will take forty minutes. Wow. Let's go down the layers. I don't like that fill, so I'm gonna back out, build it again. The infill though, I like hexagon. But this looks pretty good. 
And that is totally going to hold our rod. 41 minutes, so I added two minutes to it with that. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Strength. Go to NASA. Learn a thing or two. Or go to school to work at NASA. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, load this onto the SD card and print it out. And the next thing you're going to see is it printed out. So that'll be cool. Yeah. Okay, so check it out. Look at that. There it is mounted to the window. So entered. That took me some time. Let me see if my voice recorder has minutes. Oh, 13 minutes. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comments below. Hope you liked the video. Hope it helped. See you later, Internet.